I had to stop and refuel while watching The Predator. This is uh, pork fried rice. Yes, this is from the Chinese spot. And I'm getting ready to tear it up. You guys ready for a cool video? Let's do this. Be sure to check out my latest videos. One of my latest videos is my complete NECA horror collection. You also have Star Wars 50th Anniversary, Darth Maul. And scroll up and watch some of my favorite videos, like Marvel Legends Retro Dazzler. All right, this is one of, gonna be one of the coolest videos ever because I'm chilling and I'm very relaxed. And I started looking through a trunk and I was like, dang, I got a lot of these free books from the comic shop. Like these are pretty much older. I think it's like, I'm looking at 2008. All right, so let's look at some sneak peeks and previews. All right, so you got Silver Surfer. That looks like uh, Galactus and uh, High Evolutionary. God, dog, that rolled off my tongue. You got a special team. I think this is called Heroes for Hire. I can't see it right there, but you got Moon Knight. You got Ghost Rider. You got Punisher. You have Elektra. You have uh, Iron Fist. And then you got Sneak Peek of the Captain America, which is pretty cool. All right, let's keep rolling. So, I know this sneak peek is pretty much an older book, but this right here, this is kind of like a newer book. This is uh, two different uh, time zones, but I threw it all in the same bag. But as you can see, they're free from the comic book store, and I grabbed like uh, double. So, you have Thor and Iron Man right there that looks like uh, Civil War. And then you got Star Wars. I know that is the second um, Darth Vader, uh, number two, volume two. That's the first volume of Star Wars, so very cool, man. So these are from 2010, like 2011, 2009, and uh, these are like 2016s. So let's keep rolling. So as you can see, I got like three of the X-Men. One X-Men is a little different. It's uh, One is X-Men Preview, and one is the X-Men Spotlight uh, Gold, which is pretty cool. And then I got two of the Magnetos, and I got two of the Captain Americas. Like, because they were free, I just would grab two. You know what I'm saying? I just liked them. And you never know, you know what I'm saying? When one of them can be the Malibu Spotlight, or whatever that is, the first appearance of Spawn. It's very cool. You guys like these covers? Very nice. All right, let's do this. Now here goes some more previews. You just kind of got to get up close to see. That's... uh. Alex Ross's Avengers. I got two of those. Got two of the Monsters Unleashed. Jane Foster's Thor. The Mighty Thor. What's that Infinity Count now? You got uh, Alex Ross Avengers again. And then you got Guardian of the Galaxy. Pretty cool with Thing on the team. I think it's on the team. And Kitty Pryde from the X-Men is on the team too. Which is pretty cool. Alright. This is so awesome. Let's keep going. See, this was the crazy thing about the previews is you go to a comic shop that you haven't been to in a while and they have like five or six of them. And when they have five or six of them, it's like, shoot. You know what I'm saying? It's like a whole nother comic book haul. So I used to grab about, like I said, four or five of them, doubles, and just stick them in my bag. Cause I know my kids liked uh, these previews too, so very cool. There you go, from previews to Marvel Spotlights. That's the Incredible Hulk. Got Daredevil. Got Alex Ross's Avengers again. Doubles. Just very cool. And the reason why I like these is because sometimes I'll like take one of them Turn them around, they have like a little Easter egg in it. This is uh, Back to School 2018, The Avengers. Very cool. All right, so you got King in Black, which is pretty cool. Who was that? Uh, what's his name? Venom, 200. You got King in Black. Yeah, the Eternals. 
all cool covers. All right, let's keep rolling. I couldn't find a preview magazine older than 2010, so I'm trying to figure out, did they start this? Around 2010, I thought previews and sagas and all this free stuff was earlier because I remember when the House of Magnus came out, you know, I had uh, got a couple of sketchbooks for free. But this is Thor, Spider-Man Saga, Spider-Man Season 1. Thor, this is when Cable took down the whole Avengers by itself. And that is when they was trying to push the Inhumans over the X-Men because they didn't have the rights. But it spat fired on them and Marvel had to uh, take back the X-Men. All right, they had to uh, bring back the X-Men because they were trying to replace it with Inhumans. It didn't work. All right, let's do it. Speaking of the sketchbook, there it is, 2005. I knew I started collecting free stuff around then. Then you had the Civil War previews. Civil War one shot. You have uh, Siege. Then you have the Marvel uh, Diable Brothers sampler. I don't know what that is. It look like uh, Greg Horn's uh, artwork. I know that's Greg Horn. Got to be. I don't even need to check. But yeah, pretty uh, pretty cool. I I've actually seen the sketchbook uh, from House of M. Uh, go for uh, uh, some money. I don't know how much they go for, but that's pretty cool that they gave us a free sketchbook of uh, House of M. And this is the original Civil War. It was it was a very good read, man. That, that's when comics were busting. So, on my older videos, if you watch my older, older videos, I used to always do a... Um, I used to always do a... What do you call it? An indie corner. And this is your indie corner. This is... Uh, Buck Rogers, XO Man of War, and Icons of Valiant. I got those for free and was able to pick those up. A lot of my Six Fingers Interrupt video. And then we got stuff like this. We got Deadpool wraparound, uh, the Deadpool wraparound uh, poster, which is pretty cool. We got the Runaways, X-Men Free Comic Book Day. We got another sketchbook. Love the sketchbook. See, it says free on it. You got the X-Men Second Coming. You got Wolverine, uh, the death of Wolverine. And, no, Wolver that's Wolverine Goes to Hell. Wolverine Goes to Hell is so goddamn good. Sorry I curse, but that's a good-ass story. And that's Jay Lee on the front cover. Jay Lee always draws his people now with their nose in the air for some reason. He's a very peculiar artist. Rarely does the whole book, but definitely does the covers. And I grew up with Jay Lee, and I love that Wolverine Goes to Hell. That's one of my favorite stories. I re I'll never forget, I read it on Easter Sunday from beginning to the end in hardcover. But yeah. All right, let's do this. Sorry about that, let's do this. And as you can see, DC jumped on board with the free comics, I mean free previews. And they got on that probably around the time of Rebirth. See, that's uh, that's free comic book day, Suicide Squad. That, that's actually uh, worth some money, too. We got Krypton. What? Some doubles right here. But this is awesome, man. What do you guys think? I think it's pretty cool. Look. Two Wonder Woman. I gotta do a part two to this video. I got a lot more. So let's do this. And so, once again, I'd like to thank you guys and girls for tuning in to another episode of Direct Edition. The channel is Fred Hall Direct Edition. Like, subscribe, share. Remember, words of wisdom. Focus on the ones that show you love and the ones that don't show you love. Hey, we're just gonna keep on rolling without them. The name of the channel is Fred Hall Direct Edition. I will catch you girls and guys later. Be safe out there. Peace.